Hello everybody, Gregory Fairchild here for the BBC. <laughs> I am here with exclusive interview today with Jared Bowen. We're outside his house today, so let's go in. <laughs> Well I, well, I can't seem to be able to find him at all. I'm in his bedroom now. There's nobody here. I don't know what to do. I'll keep looking. Well, there's no signs in the bathroom. The decoration is a bit over the top there. I'm in, interesting uh, dog motif at the top. I feel like I'm one of those t TV programs. Like, who lives in a house like this? <laughs> David, it's over to you. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know what this room is for. I'm assuming up there it's some sort of wine cellar. I, I, I don't understand. Where is he? I don't know. Let me, let me just check my emails. Oh. It, uh, it, it's a phone interview. Um, probably, <laughs> probably should have checked that before we did it. Mm. Okay, let, well, let me just call him from his wine cellar. Hello, Mr. Bowen. Yes, Gregory Fairchild here from the BBC. I uh, hope you're doing well. I was just a couple of questions for you for my latest piece. Um, what do you think about playing in the Premier League? Is it what you know? Are you enjoying it? Feels mm. amazing to be in the Premier League. Um, a lot of hard work has gone oh. in there to get us where we where we wanted to be. Now we're back in there with the big boys. So yeah, let's hope for some great success. Well, that's great to hear. All the fans will be very pleased. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. Uh, also, what's, you know, Gusto's been getting a lot of press. What do you think of him? What do you think of him working with him as a director of football? Hey? Oh, oh you know, working under Gusto, it's it's different. But, you know, he's brought a great manager in, brought me into the club, and now you know we're where we want to be and hopefully push into the Premier League and keep battling strong. Oh, that, yes, yes, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, I just want to say, um, obviously, um, I just want to compliment you on your wine cellar. No, 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 I'm not in your house, no, 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 I, yeah, no, I'm calling from the office, that's just a little joke, all right, okay then, okay, bye-bye. Greetings and salutations, my friends, welcome back to the Stanley Parable, and as, a, as ever, I want to say a massive thank you to Jared Bowen for making that little video for me. He's an absolute legend and uh, like he's on fire at the moment in real life for Hull. And there's lots of Premier League teams interested. It's going to be a fascinating few months for Jared. So best of luck. Whatever happens, we are all very proud of you, I think. I think we'll all agree. So please do. Right. It's not been going... Well, it's in... So after the West Ham game, we lost 2-0 against Everton, or 2-0. We lost 2-0 against Filthy Gilfie Sigerson, who scored a free kick and a penalty. It was a pretty even game. They had a, probably had a couple. They probably edged it. But we did all right. And then and there, he's, he's very good at free kicks and penalties. Um, and, uh, you know, we had to do a team meeting. The players weren't happy. So I mixed things up, boys. I mix things up. We've changed formations. And I think lots of people have been calling for it. Not that our formation was bad. It's just... We can't really afford to place three central midfielders with the few central midfielders that we have. So I've gone to a different formation. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called 4-4-2. Four, four, um, I've actually changed it slightly, but we'll, I'll have a look in, at it in a minute. But I want to show you this, boys. So we beat Crystal Palace, who were bottom of the league at the time. So it was a massive game, 2-1, with Jared Bowen getting himself a penalty and then scoring the winner in the 87th minute. And by winner... My God, this is a winner and a half, my friends. This is a ridiculous goal. So it starts from Dr. Leg um, with the uh, goal of, of the kickoff. Um, boo -boo, slow it down a little bit. Let me see, see where we get to. So big lump forward, classic stuff. Frankowski, right? Pavelotti, the, the, the anchor man, right? Up to Flash Gordon, right? So we highlight Bowen. He's looking for back post, you know, ping one in. If he pit, if he hit it first time, you'd probably be one on one with the goalkeeper. No, he didn't fancy that, Flash Gordon. He's got other ideas. He's going to take another touch, take another touch. Now he's crossed. 
Now, Bowen's not the biggest. He, you know, there's a giant of a man next to him. making It's like bring your son to work day. Um, absolute giant of a man there. And uh, so Bowen's like, okay, I've, it's going to be tricky to win this. But all oh, actually, it's, go, it's going a bit far. So Bowen's realised that this he's not going to get this header. It's going to go way over. And why is he standing in such a weird position? Because, my friends, dun, 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 bicycle kick from the angle. Goalkeeper is unsighted and he pings it into the back of the net, which is not bad for a cheeky little winner, which is absolutely exceptional. So well done again, Mr. Bone. You're just showing off now. Um, so we won that game 2-1 two, two, and then away to Wolves, we drew 0-0. Nil, nil, bit of a board draw. We are playing. I'll show you the new tactic. So this is it. <clears throat> It's 4-4-2, but with the left, slide, left side being a little bit more attacking. Uh, reason being is that I wanted to play with wingers and I wanted to play two up top. I wanted to play the big target man. He's, of course, he's injured for this game. But two, we've got some good strikers now, so we need to make the most of that. And I like Bowen can play as a striker. Um, he needs to improve his first touch. It's probably the weakest area of his game, but he's actually still a very, very good winger. And if we play him as a as a winger here to just to get forward a little bit more, I think I think playing him there as a flat four four two it just takes too much away from his attacking presence. So and he is left footed. So it's you know I did promise to play him as an inside forward on the right, but you know this is the Premier League and we got to do what we got to do. Maybe eventually we can move him back once we've got more of a team. Um, we can move it, move him back there. And obviously uh, Fazio Gulies is very good going forward as well, so he can support him. And then on the right, this is sort of where we lack really a sort of standard normal winger person. We've got Anas playing there currently, who's pretty much play everywhere um, on both sides. He's two-footed, which is actually really nice. So we could just kept him as a wide midfielder. We're hoping to get most of our performances down. It's um, based off the 4-4-2 count uh, direct counter-attack situation um, with a couple of little changes. So um, because we've got this target man now, so uh, just with the counter and distribute quickly, defending a little bit lower. We've not got the pace at centre-backs, really. The idea is that you know, we take on a bit of pressure and score a breakaway goal. We're not going to be winning games 5-4, but we're also probably not going to be losing games 5-0. That's, kind of, that's kind of the plan. Right, and the two strikers today, Tyrese Campbell's back from injury. None of these two have hit the ground running, which is not ideal. Frankowski's there on the bench. Pavlotti is out for three weeks with a back strain. That's because he's seven foot tall. It sort of, gravity sort of folds him over. I think that's what happens. Right, let's go, boys. Let's try it. We've only used this for the two games previous, but a draw and a win. We're playing Newcastle, who are, you know, sit, I hope you're sitting down, Newcastle fans, seventh in the league. So, oh, Voldemort's still there. Nice. Good to see him. He's hanging on. Right, here we go, boys. They're not the most exciting games, but at the end of the day, <laughs> we need to stay up. And right now, it's... It's stay up whatever it takes, basically. I don't care who plays where or what we do to get wins and points. We just need to get something. Um, so scraping out a few boring results is fine by me. Because th at the end of the day, this club is making a shit ton of money. And so we just need to stay in the Premier League. And then we'll have a big more wadge of money that Gusto can spend in the January transfer window, probably the summer now. And then build on it from there. That's that's kind of the plan anyway. So, <clears throat> good. Anus. Well done, mate. Well done. All right, Bergwin. Oh, Christine Aguilera does well defensively. And with pretty terrible clearance. Voldemort. Speliamos. Right. Mafio. Oh, it's a good run. Oh, steady on, boys. Steady on. Was that a save? Oh, it was a save. Dr. Leg. Rolling back the years. Right, here we go. And obviously this formation allows us to play two central midfielders, which actually gives us enough enough depth. One other thing people pointed out in the last in a couple of videos ago was that Robin Lodd is a model citizen as his personality, which is I think the best and it's very rare personality to have model citizen. And I'm like, oh my god, I've got to get him tutoring people. Or mentoring, as it's now called. Well, the trouble is, 
Uh, Gusto's just bought a load of old players, hasn't he, really? Our youngest player in our first team is 23, and that's Tyrese Campbell. So we've got him mentoring Tyrese Campbell, but not not that it might that make that much difference. You really want like a bunch of sort of 17, 18-year-old kids to be able to... Oh, go on, man. <laughs> um, yeah, you want a bunch of kids, and we don't have them. But that means if Gusto does purchase a young player, which he doesn't like to do, it seems, uh, we will have a perfect mentor for him. Okay, get it away, boys. I still haven't sort of also discovered my main centre-back partnership. I haven't really found the perfect two yet. That We've got four that are very close to each other. <clears throat> okay, this has not started well. <laughs> this has not started well, has it? They've, they've had quite a lot of attackings. Um, so much so that I'm making sure we've got it on key highlights. They've had so much of the ball. What's a good save, Dr. Leg? throwing out arms and legs like a ninja okay i would like just to not have any highlights for a minute uh we built a new set piece routine for whoa, um for corners and that is back we're going back post and then we've got the target man when he plays is going to be attacking the back post with one of our center backs on the back post so hopefully that might produce a couple of goals, although so far all the back post corners have gone way too far. So we'll keep an eye on it. <clears throat> so what you'll see, what I've noticed in the first two games, is that the other team has more shots, but they have very few clear-cut chances and half chances. So as you can see, we, we're the only team that's actually made a half chance so far. And here we go, Anas, early ball forward. It's, that's just dreadful. That's so just hopeful. <clears throat> so I'm hoping... It, we will have some money. We don't have actually any money to spend or actually any money in the bank. But I'm hoping by the time we get to January, we'll have a few quid. And we can ask Beatrice for a few quid to spend and get a right midfielder. That would be lovely. But you never know. Gusto will probably buy another left back or a goalkeeper. I wouldn't mind. I like Dr. Leg. But... <laughs> oh, uh, he, he knew it was going... Not going in. Um, I like Dr. Leg, but Premier League quality is not quite there. Right. Okay. Let's give a bit of encouragement. That'll probably overwhelm them. Oh. Oh. Danny Olmo. Oh. Oh, it's a double save. <laughs> Fucking hell. Somebody put in this in the comments the other day. Has anyone got one of these goal line replays and it's gone over? I was like, actually, no. I've seen loads of goal line replays and none of them have got, actually gone over the line. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, they've had, to be fair, 10 shots on target. But they've had six long shots. They've only had one decent chance. The trouble is Dr. Dr. Leg is not the best goalkeeper and one of these long shots could go in. We just need to get some, just a little breakaway goal. That's what we're looking for at the moment. Don't be a free kick though, you dickhead. No, what's that? Put some curl on it. Learn curl, mate, yeah? But the league table is looking all right. Ish. It's not looking great, is it? Three points above relegation. Despite being 13th currently, we're three points above relegation. Which is a win or, you know, that's that's not far enough away for my liking. We knew it was going to be a long, hard season. I'm going to praise that. Um, can't I just say you were good? There we go. I'm happy with your solid defensive work. But obviously with the new, any new formation, tactics, shape, all that good stuff, way of playing, takes a little bit of time for the players to get used to it. <laughs> There's all their shots. Number 17. I bet that's John Joe Shelby. No, it's Bongani Zungu. He likes a shot, doesn't he? <clears throat> the goalkeeper looks like he's trying to send the ball forward with long throws. Good for him. I'm proud of him. Offside? No, he was interfering. That dude was interfering. I swear that was... He was... Otamendi. They got Otamendi. Whoa, they've gone up in the world, haven't they? That guy was interfering. Look, how is that not interfering? He's standing, looking at the goalkeeper, blocking his path. Oh, he couldn't get, even get a die. Oh, that is disgusting. He was way offside. Fucking bias. Big team bias. Classic big team bias. 
We don't really have a plan B as yet. <laughs> right, Campbell. Here we go, though. Calvert-Lewin. Come on, you blue-nosed bastard. Calvert-Lewin. Scored at the weekend against Bournemouth. Should have scored there. We'll go attacking. Just attacking. See how it goes. Right, Bowen. Supposed to go back post. Okay. Anus. Hit it. Bowen. Cross it. Leave it. Let it go out. Yeah. Good, good time wasting. <clears throat> and we do have long throws as well. Because Gooley's got 17 long flows. <gasps> yes, boys! It's an own goal for the goalkeeper. We'll take it. Oh, Tony Pulis special. Get in there. Rory Delap has just got an erection watching this match. Look at that for a long throw. Calvert-Lewin, a little flick on. In off the crossbar. Goalkeeper had no fucking clue what was going on. All right, let's go back. And back. And back. We're going to scrape draws. That's how we're going to survive this season. We're going to be like a cleaner at Ikea. Bowen. Bowen has had a quiet game so far. He's probably not had, not had much to feed off. That's a good ball, though. Cavett Lewin. Waiting for support. Lottie. McWilliams. Bowen's there if he needs him. Decides against that. Goes back to Lod. Back to McWilliams. Don't lose the ball now because they've got too many men forward. Lod. Anus. Oh, that's not going to be the highlight, is it? That's not that's not highlight worthy. All right, win this header. Win this header. Win this header. Boom, Suter. Okay, win the second ball. Oh, he's been done for the pace. Suter, in a nutshell, wins a header and then gets beaten for pace. <sighs> yeah. You've got to do better with that header, though. That's just aimless, isn't it? You weren't even challenged for it. Look, and then he just takes so long to turn around. He's backtracking. <laughs> Not just turn around, mate. Turn around. Turn around. <clears throat> what can we do here? What we can do is go to like a 4 2 2 2. Because we got Frankowski. Can come on and play as a much more attacking player. And we'll go you as a. Winger attack. And we also, what we lack, I've just discovered what we lack in central midfield is anybody that's good defensively in midfield. We don't really have anybody that can tackle. Which, because I wanted to play a ball winning midfielder in the centre of mid alongside a deep line playmaker. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just not happening. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Push forward. Here we go. Ghoulies. Calvert-Lewin. Bowen. Oh, bit of space. Go on, son. Go on, son. Drive forward. Right foot. Oh, it's not his strong foot. He applauds himself as he goes on. <laughs> well done, me. Hey, well done. Come on. Another bicycle kick. Equaliser, please. Dr. Leg is playing a 7.1. He's saved 15-odd shots. A lot of long, oh, a lot of long, oh, my, <laughs> get stuck in, lads. Oh, that's offside, that's offside, there we go. Shh, he hasn't even noticed, what a dickhead. You should probably have a look at the linesman, see if he's waving his flag, mate, just a tip, yeah. Just the tip. <clears throat> All right, but as you can see, zero clear-cut chances, two half chances each. So we're not getting done on that front. Okay, don't score again, though, you dickheads. Nice one, Pinto. Frankowski. Now, this is a breakaway. This is a proper breakaway. Frankowski. Frank... Fucking knobhead. <coughs> Voldemort. Round the corner to man. Oh, dear. That's bad. 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 It's fine. I wasn't worried. Oh, Frankowski. You should have done so much better than that. Okay, Ghoulies. Calvert-Lewin. Where are you going with this, boy? Okay, Dr. Leg. Come on. Boom. That's the oh, he's missed it. Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, you're so Everton. You're so Everton, Calvert-Lewin. You look good on paper, but you're shit on the pitch. <laughs> it's Everton. Oh. That's what we're not going to create a massive amount, but when we do, that is we have to put those chances away. 
Oh, that's twice. He's, he's had two really good chances this game and f fudged both. All right. You just annoying me. I'm taking you off. Frankowski, you're going up top. Boogadoo's coming on the right hand side. Come on, boys. Three minutes. There's there's a chance. Mafio. Man. You have to say it like that every time. Man. No. No, mate. <clears throat> any little any little tickle? Oh, Pinto, the centre back. <gasps> so close. It's a good save. Okay. What's the, hello, what's going on? Oh, it's not a goal. What what a what a surprise! Uh, I can't believe they've got Otamendi. That's that's not bad. <laughs> okay, they're a decent side. It's disappointing. They're motivated by it, and now we've just got Arsenal, so should be fine. How has Jared Bowen not won goal of the month with that bicycle kick? I'm going to have to look at Danny Drinkwater's goal. Right. Do I have to go through them all, for fuck's sake? Um, can I skip to the next one? Next match, I'm assuming. So this is Bowen's bicycle kick. Okay. I want to see what magic that Danny Drinkwater has pulled out from centre mid. It better be a 70-yard ping in the top bins, right? If it's just a sh shot from the edge of the area, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. That's, that's, not, a that's not good enough. Like, it's a great goal. Not even close, though, is it? Not even close. Okay, Arsenal. Okay, this is probably the first real big test of this new system. They are second in the league. Just just nine points behind Liverpool. Come on, we've got to help Liverpool out here, boys. <laughs> Our under-18s just drew against Wrexham under-18s. Good stuff, lads. Okay. Calvert-Lewin. All right, sort your shit out, all right? We don't have many options, really. If we look at the bench. Yeah. But <laughs> the centre backs is the only real options. I think. Mm, Pinto's just not done really. He's got seven pace. That's that's really not good enough. Okay. We're gonna go with we're gonna swap them over. We're gonna find two centre backs that are half decent. So you look at the average ages of my team. It's 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 horrific. Right. Okay, I'll take a draw. Got to be honest with you, lads. I'll take a draw. You know, even though it's at home, <laughs> I'll take a draw. Okay, they've got Memphis, Zivkovic, Raheem Sterling. What? What? Kieran Tierney. Raheem Sterling? How much do you pay for him then? 33 million? Cheeky bargain, that, isn't it? Looks like he just dropped out of the first team at Man City. How old is he now? He's 28. He's in his prime. That's surprising. Right. Hector Bellerin's still there. Oh, as a now at Kepa is uh, at Arsenal now. 56 million. Made a bit of a loss on that, Chelsea. All right. Quite a mixed bag. It's like almost like a Premiership Rejects team, this one. Probably a, a tiny bit better than our team. <laughs> you know, a couple of them would make our first team. Uh, Arsenal are playing in the famous minty green kit. It's lovely. All right. Five minutes. We've lost it. Five minutes. It's a good start. Solid start. Anas nicks the ball away. Calvert-Lewin is on. Oh, he made a run and then stopped and then... Oh, he's a... Go on. Fit it. Little Kepper, who looks like a twelve-year-old, made the save. He made a really good run, but then he didn't. Cavalloon didn't. Uh, the other dude, Campbell, didn't hit it quick enough. Back post. All right, that was you know not too bad. This could be dangerous. Oh, look at the back post. They're going to overload it. Oh, what a tackle! What a tackle! Who's that, Anas? Oh, right up him. Zivkovic. No, my defenders just didn't move. They're all in a line. Just went, I'm not getting it. You get it. It's not my ball. Right. Come on, boys. It's looking all right. 61% possession. Okay, now it's now it's getting a bit more realistic. Okay. Here we go. Whip it in the box. 
whip it in, whip it in, or just drive forward and score, and you're just, oh, I hate, that's not the highlight, is it, Ken? That, okay, that was the highlight. Oh, that was exciting. It was a good run. Just kept it a little bit too long. Took an extra touch than needed. But we're doing all right, boys. We are doing pretty damn good. Is that Daniel Fry? How good does he get? Dale Fry, that's the one. That's the badger. Jesus, he gets good, doesn't he? Okay, no. <clears throat> Come on, boys. I'm a little bit optimistic now. Yeah, they've got Jorginho as well. It is. Premier League rejects. Like, good rejects. Don't get me wrong. All right, now they've got the possession. Now they're starting to take control. Our early spurt has, has not really done much. <clears throat> Come on, boys. I'll take this, lads. I'll take this. Gotta be honest. I'll take this. Um, like Memphis, we know he's got a decent free kick on him. And can only score from set pieces. West Brom in disguise. No, I don't want to see that again. It's a tap in. Basically, a penalty that was. Okay. Oh, all undone by one free kick. Cedric Mayer's taken a knock though. We've injured we've injured a guy, so I feel better about life. Uh, yeah, no real pressure. We're not expected to get anything out of this game. We've done all right. This the system is built to work better with a target man, admittedly. So hopefully when he comes back. He's he's on a massive goal drought, our big target man. But I don't care. Oh, it's Reece Nelson, another bloody wonder kid. Um, yeah, we don't. I don't care if the target man scores goals. I just want him to bring in Bowen and the other guy. Yeah, whatever, Reece Nelson. Let's we have a look at Reece Nelson because he's a very, very top talent. Where is he? Has he developed? Let me click on him, game, you dickhead. Christina Aguilera gets it away, but I think it's just coming back, lads. The pressure is starting to... We're starting to buckle under the pressure. That's not the best clearance in the world, is it? Oh, goalkeeper's fucking dodged it, isn't he? Not dodgeball, mate. He's already lying down when the ball went past him. I don't want to see that again. I just want to click on Reese Nelson. Yeah. Decent. Decent. Uh, he, you know, he'd get on the bench. Okay. Uh, this is the classic... Stick or twist. Um, obviously, we twist. You know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pussy out of this, boys. Got to go for it. Got to go for it. We'll concede seven now, but you know, at least we went down swinging. <sighs> oh, stop it! Stop it! It's like we used up all our energy in the first half, just hanging on. And now they bring on a couple of subs. <laughs> and it's like game over. Sterling, Hector Bellerin, back post, Sivkovic. That's a terrible cross. It's coming back in again. They flicked on. That's it. Fucking hoof it. Hoof. Jorginho, Sterling. There's space on the right if he wants it. Nelson gets his shot blocked. Oh, where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Oh, it's just... It's endless. It's endless. Stop it, Arsenal. We're already dead. We're already dead. Let us have a goal. little pity goal. Come on. Let's go get creative. That'll confuse the living shit out of them. No. No, they've got it. <sighs> Robin Lodd's just not... My Connolly. That's who we need, boys. Connolly. I think a box box midfielder might be a bit optimistic, to be honest. <clears throat> Should just rely on the three basic front guys we've got, I think. Right, Aguilera. All right, it all starts off with us defending and not clearing it well enough and then getting more attacks. Uh, Grendozi. He's not got his hair. Where's his hair gone? Uh, just They're just taking a piss a bit now, aren't they? All right, yay. Oh... 
Maybe should have maybe should have just kept it at three 0 just just defended. Goalkeeper's frustrated. Is that because you're shit? Here we go. Goal time, boys. Twenty seconds left. No, it's not because Raheem Sterling is obviously a massive target man. Bowen, you've got to do you've got to beat Raheem Sterling in the air, Jared. All right. Of all the things to fail at, that is that is quite bad. Raheem Sterling's three foot seven, I believe. That's fact. That's fact. Right, there we go. About about as expected, really, isn't it? That's not the games that really matter, to be honest. It's, it's the teams that we might actually have a, a small chance. And it just started, gave us a little bit of hope, didn't it, at the beginning? Like, oh, actually, we're playing with a better side. And then Arsenal went, just kidding, spank. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of goal droughts going on because <clears throat> our strikers have scored a combined five goals, which is not great. Our top goal scorer is still Jared Bowen. <clears throat> Two of them were penalties, I think. Right, there we go, my friends. Done for another day. Oh, dear. Oh, we'll come back for the... <laughs> Glutton for punishment, lads. We're going to come back for the Liverpool and Man United game. We've got Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, Man United. I was just going to crush our spirits. Right, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.